every now and then you run into uh, fairly interesting problems when you're trying to upgrade from one version of Android to another or if you're trying to uh, completely change from one base of ROM like a lineage based ROM to an omni based ROM or something like that and this is definitely one of those moments and here we come to a crossroads so I want to show you what the error is and then let's talk about what we want to do about it so right here uh, you can see this really long um, block of fail and essentially it is trying to build uh, things in display calf and you can see that's happening up here as well and it's all display calf display calf display calf all right so if you take any one of these and try to break it down it's usually kind of a domino effect like one thing doesn't work right and then the next thing doesn't work right and the next thing doesn't work right but <clears throat> If you try to just straight up Google this error, you really don't get much. A uh, few things, and end up going to this, uh, um, I think it's Russian site, um, and trying to break it down here. Uh, and this guy was right on point with what, uh, what the problem was. Um, but even if you can't find it, because sometimes, like I said, this is there's only you know like these four uh, things about it, so not very many places to take a look. But uh, if you can just grab the identifier itself, so it says error use of undeclared identifier. If you just grab the identifier itself and hit that up in a web search, you know DuckDuckGo or Google or whatever you'll typically find right away some file that's pointing to it and here we have that file um, which is the same file that uh, these guys recommended uh, taking a look at so um, in their old file they didn't have that and in their new file they put in they exchange it for a file that did have that uh, so what this comes down to is we went through and changed the device tree hoping to upgrade from marshmallow to nugget but with that comes a few other changes that we also need to be aware of and so we don't just need to change the device tree we need to change the kernel and we need to change vendor files um, but we're just starting one thing at a time and we started with the device tree which is a good place to start because then you'll see what is or isn't in your kernel uh, and then you need to take a look at what you need to change in your kernel so for instance, in this case, uh, this file, um, MSM MDP EXT, does exist in uh, the kernel for the blocks too. However, it does not have uh, this portion here at the top referring to these layer flag configurations, particularly this uh, MDP destination scalar data. Um, here we go. Scalar flag configuration, excuse me, not layer, scalar. Um, so if we go in here and we look under our scalar flag, and I go, and, and there really isn't a scalar flag in here because they didn't have that in Marshmallow and so this is something for Nugget and so to uh, utilize that we would need to um, upgrade portions of our kernel so here's the crossroad and here's what you have to decide when you're doing something like this um, do you do the right thing which is perhaps the most work which is upgrading the kernel and portions thereof to meet what you have to do or uh, do you do the alternate route and um, change what you're using to uh, or what you're building to not have those functions so for instance this is using display dash calf we could take display dash calf out let's take a look at the folder that I'm talking about so you understand what I'm saying uh, let's see hardware qcom uh, and you have display dash calf so you could take that out and use display instead 
uh, of display dash calf and for instance that would be perhaps the easiest way to get around the problem um, although you may run into different errors in the display section likewise you could also just try editing display dash calf to meet your needs and then uh, and then just squeak by um, the problem with doing then edit it to the display dash calf is if you do that you will always have to edit your display dash calf every time that you want to uh, build a new version um, so you'll have to essentially make your own repository for your display dash calf and download that or put that in your room service branch or your local manifest so you can download that every time and you will be then responsible for making those changes every time the display dash calf updates so this can be really tedious um, it might get you by this one time but then you'll pretty much not be able to continue building without re-editing this file every single time that you need to go through and edit it and as you can see there's quite a few errors in it and so it would take a while to work them all out but that is an option. <clears throat> um, I would reserve that option as a viable option if it's the only option. For instance, uh, the Samsung Captivate Glide back in the day, uh, it did not uh, support, uh, I think it was, it didn't support Neon. And so there was a lot of things that needed to be edited in order for you to build a newer version. And uh, a really great uh, developer named uh, Bubor uh, was able to uh, build um, Lollipop on that phone even though that phone started as uh, uh, I think it was uh, I'm not sure if it was pre-ice cream sandwich I think it was pre-ice cream sandwich when it started but either way at ice cream sandwich he brought it all the way up to Lollipop even though it didn't support that uh, that version yeah I think it started at uh, gingerbread so gingerbread all the way to lollipop by doing things like this editing display dash calf type stuff um, but when you do that it gets to be very labor intensive and very difficult for you as a developer so easier option if you don't want to try to go through and fix everything in the kernel you could ditch display dash calf and try to use display but eventually you'll run into the same problem as things in calf usually start to end up getting put into the normal uh, version um, and uh, and you'll see that as time goes on so uh, my recommendation is that we take the time and we try to fix uh, the things in the kernel to upgrade it to this version of uh, Android that we want to build this is going to take a lot of involvement a lot of time a lot of things to look at um, but uh, I just wanted to make this uh, little video here to uh, show you that something to consider when you uh, are going to do an upgrade like this you can always look at a similar kernel for a similar device this is the MSM 8937 kernel for the Eureka Black which we've been borrowing a lot of stuff from and you can look at their branches and do a comparison on the commit so this is the default is CM 14.1 which is Android Nugget what we're trying to build and you do a comparison to the old uh, CM 13.0 and when we do that comparison you can see some of the things that you're going to need to change and this is not for the faint of heart so if you check this out 956 changed files with 711,401 additions and 3,619 deletions so you either need to cherry pick these like 771 commits or you need to um, you know hand jam these 956 changes yourself but you don't necessarily have to do every one of these changes some of these changes might not specifically be for changing from nugget or excuse me from marshmallow to nugget and so that's where it takes a little bit of trial and error and a little bit of work on your part as a developer um, by doing the sort of uh, brute force method that we're doing where we just start working on it we run into a problem and then we fix that problem uh, we will only be doing the portions of these changes that really need to happen um, so you can end up saving yourself a lot of work in one sense but it will take a lot of time as it will try to build and then fail and then you have to research what happened or didn't so just things to consider um, we uh, 
we want to fix this so I'm gonna try working on that and it's gonna take me a little bit of time to do that so hopefully that was uh, helpful for you if you're looking at upgrading from one Android version to another and you can see that this is definitely a more advanced uh, thing to do rather than just compiling ROMs or building something that's already been built.